Hi everyone, today I've built a 3 cell battery pack for a remote control airplane that I'm preparing. I've used 18650 cells and this is a really an inexpensive way to get cheap and powerful but also very lightweight battery for your RC models. Stick around to see how I did it. Lithium batteries are known to cause fire, burns and even explosions, so be careful when handling them. Never ever allow the open terminals of the battery pack to touch each other and do not expose the pack to any mechanical damage. If you do not feel confident in handling lithium batteries, then please do not try this at home. The battery pack consists of three 3.7V 18650 batteries that you can buy from pretty much anywhere. These are now common in many devices and are relatively cheap and safer compared to the standard LiPo batteries used in RC models. Additionally, they are much lighter so you can get an improvement over the standard LiPo battery packs in terms of weight to capacity ratio. We will connect the individual cells in series in order to create the 3S battery pack with a nominal voltage of 11.1 volt. On the schematic, you can see that we need to connect the negative side of the first battery to the positive side of the second. Then, the negative side of the second battery gets connected to the positive side of the third one. After this, we will be left with two freeze terminals, one positive and one negative, that will be the terminals of our battery pack. To connect the batteries, I've used 5mm wide solder tabs. Ideally, you will need to spot weld these contacts, but since I don't have a spot welder available, I use solder for the connections. The trick is that you apply the heat for as short as possible in order to prevent damage to any of the cells. While I'm soldering the contacts, let me remind you to hit the like button and to subscribe to my channel. This way you will be able to support my work and allow me to make more videos. Additionally, from recently I have a Patreon page where you can become my patron and some custom taste the code t-shirts over at this spring. All of the links will be in the description of the video, so be sure to check them out. On the output terminals of the battery pack, I've used 6mm square wire or the equivalent of around 9 or 10 American wire gauge. I know that this is probably an overkill, but I thought to better be safe than sorry. I've soldered these wires to an XT60 connector, making sure to keep note on the polarity and I've added some shrink tubing on the wires to be slit on the contacts to prevent any shorts. In order to properly charge the pack and be able to monitor each cell voltage, we need to add a balance connector. This is an JSD-XH 4-pin connector. One wire is connected to the negative side of the battery pack, while the other three are connected to the positive side of each of the three individual cells. This way, the charger can monitor the voltage of each cell and provide balance charging of the pack. Before connecting the balance connector, make sure that you identify the proper polarity as marked on the charger balance connectors. While soldering, make sure to trim the excess wire from the connector to provide neat connection. Once all of the connections are made, use a multimeter to verify that the expected voltage on each of the pins is correct and that all of the wiring is correct as well. After that, connect the balance connector to the charger and connect the main leads to the battery terminals in the XT60 connector. The pack will need to be charged with a proper LiPo charger. This way you will not overcharge the individual cells of the pack and avoid damaging them. The charger I have is the IMAX B6AC and it works perfectly. I'll try to provide a review video of it in the future. At the end, let me remind you to subscribe to my channel so you can check my progress on the upcoming RC plane build where this battery pack will be used, as well as other electronics and coding projects in the future.